Uh, in this video, we are discussing binary search trees and how do we code them in Java. Uh, let's quickly see what a binary search tree is. Uh, a binary search tree is a search structure like this, which contains nodes. Uh, we have the root node, left child, right child, left child is smaller than the root node, right child is greater than the root node, and it's basically a collection of such nodes. Let's get to coding this in Eclipse. Since this is a big code, so I'm just going to go through it. I'm not actually going to go step by step tutorial. First, what we need is a true tree node, uh, basically a node structure, which will have an integer da data value, uh, a right child and a left child. Uh, in initiate right child and left child to null, and data is equal to the value. So this is the constructor. Then we create the binary search tree class. Uh, we need an insert function in this insert function basically finds the appropriate value of the node that we need to insert into the tree and puts it there so if we say if root is null then the new node is basically the root itself and if it's smaller we move towards the left if it's greater we move towards the right okay then we need a function to find some particular value uh, in this case we check if it's if if the root is null then we return false and if it's not and uh, if it's equal to the root, then we return the root. If it's smaller, then we move towards the left. If it's greater, move towards the right. And we're done. Then we need a delete function. Let me just open up, open this up. So a delete function works like this. We find the root, the node that we want to delete in its right subtree, the leftmost uh, value. So in this case, if we want to delete 15, so 17 is the leftmost value in the right subtree of 15. So we bring 17 up here and the tree structure shell is working properly. So 10 will be smaller than 17 and 20 is greater. Okay, so we simply do that. So there could be different cases when the node that we want to delete has a left child, has a right child, has both or has neither. So we have created cases for them. And then we have the get success, get success function over here. Uh, this basically finds what I just discussed over here and we use it in deletion part and then there could be three types of display in order pre-order and post order uh, I have like mentioned all three of them over here and then we have the main function insert some values perform pre-order display in order display post order display display the root value in order display we delete some value and then make it in order display okay let's quickly run this to see if it works fine okay so we inserted three four nine one zero and so on so this is the in order display in order display pre-order and post order root is three which, which is correct in order display after deletion so we deleted what value did we delete we deleted three so we deleted root and this is now the new tree and its new root is 4 and if we want to find some integer we say find 1 and it returns found 1 let's again run this and this time we try to find some value which does not exist so let's say 11 so it says not found 11 so code seems to be working fine if you have any queries related to the code you can ask me in the comment section you can find the code in the description I'll put a link over there to the code and if you like the video, if you liked it, thanks for watching. Peace.